Uh, so I'm going to tie a, a hawthorn fly. Now hawthorn flies tend to sit sort of drowned or flat in the water as they're terrestrials. So generally something surface film sort of uh, clink hammer style I think is best for them. So I'm going to try a, a sort of a clink hammer but in a, a different twist on it here. Because uh, a lot of people find it very difficult to tie clink hammer posts. Uh, and get them to look neat. So I'm going to try the fly that's actually going to sit. You're tying a normal hackle as such, but it's going to sit like a like a clink hammer. So all the tying is actually going to happen up here at the head, uh, and this is a B160 or a short shank size to or sort of hook. This is a this happens to be a size 10. So. Not a big pile of materials in this one, so we need knotted pheasant tail or knotted uh, ostrich or something like that there to uh, be our our legs. Uh, I'm going to use CDC for the wing of the fly, and we're going to use uh, foam as a detached sort of a potty. So I'm going to take two CDC feathers, small ones here and line the tips of them up. And then I'm going to set that on on top and pull that back until I get the length that I want. Tie that off. And because we're tying on such a small bit of the hook I'm going to keep adding bits and pieces of super glue as we go along just to stop the whole thing sliding and slipping about the place. Sure. What I'm going to do now is tie in a black cock hackle. Again, a little bit of super glue. And then for the body, we're going to use this. This is a 2mm black foam. And we'll cut a, a strip off this roughly the same thickness as the, as the foam is wide so that'll end up square edged so if you take a lighter and sort of pass it by it at a distance because you don't want to really set fire to this stuff it'll just round the edges off but as I just be careful it doesn't set fire to it and usually it'll give you some sort of a little crinkle the end thing because if you ever look at an actual uh, an actual fly here they're they're sort of nibbly knobbly the, the ends of them. So take this and that's going to be our body. So I'm going to tie that in on the back of the hook here. And the idea is that that's going to sit straight up from our shank. So next, a couple of our knotted pheasant tails, and I'm going to set these in, in behind it, tie them on, then splay them out so that one goes either side. Now, the idea is that they're going to be sort of random. So now the hackle. What I'm going to do is to add a little touch of super glue just to that body part, and the hackle, when I wind it, then should stick it in a couple of wraps or so underneath the body. Hold our legs slightly out of the road, then wrap hackle a couple of turns in front, and tie that off, and then this 
post you can leave sticking straight up if you want as a side post uh, or you can fold it back on itself so it'll lay flat it's entirely up to yourself I'm going to just pull it back a little bit here get a couple of wraps in in front of it finish that off and I'm just pinching the tying thread in to sort of force it back and slightly force this down and that is our fly tied so I'm going to take a little bit of super glue and glue the head and as say if you want what you can do a little bit of a little bit of that glue go into the the base of the CDC and that'll allow you to fold it back and down Near the eye, make sure it's okay. So that uh, that's fly tied. Now that may look very odd to you, but what's actually going to happen when you fish it is that the hook will go through the surface film, and the fly will sit that way, sort of sort of like a like a clink hammer but with this underneath so your surface film is actually going to be here so you tie your nylon here fire the fly and the weight of the hook takes it through it and then it'll just sit in the surface film uh, just a different way of tying a sort of a clink hammery style fly so this is a I think the style was originally called a two para so this I suppose is a, a two para uh, Hawthorne fly <laughs>